Hi guys, this is a quick analysis on Digibyte. I've been asked to do this by one of my subscribers. I'm offering this free of charge to my YouTube watchers. So good luck to all you guys. Digibyte on a whole looks very good. Um, you guys are done really well if you're holding in March. You've made a very good gain. Uh, I mean, these are ridiculous gains. You'll never see this in stocks or asset classes. 43% is just ridiculous. These are moving like penny stocks like I've never seen in my life before. So what we've had is this ABC or a WXY. It doesn't really matter. It's definitely finished its correction and it's now ready to go a lot, a lot higher. Um, if you look here, it's it's settled at the 88.6. So what I've done is marked down the bottom of uh, one here. So Digibyte, I'm very bullish on this, much like I am on Verge as well as BitShares. Um, and the more um, cryptocurrencies I analyze the more I'll be able to make an opinion um, I've done analysis on XMR, Lumen, IOTA uh, as well so if you guys are interested then let me know but Digibuy is definitely looking good so strong buy recommendation here this is the 50 exponential moving average um, sorry this is the 9 have I not changed this let me change for the, it is the 50 why is it not changed up here let me just change that just to make sure Okay, that would be the 9, good, so it is the 50. So as you know, I'm a huge um, huge fan of the 50. Um, the 50 EMA works really well. As you can see, it bounced here, bounced here, broke through, now it's finding support, and it's bounced exactly off the 50. So volume as well is coming in, so almost certainly you're going to be breaking the new high here. It's, it's now ready to start a very impulsive, um, very impulsive uh, leg. So if you look at the date range, you guys have been stuck in a trading range for the last... 161 days so quite possibly we're ready to go up um, as I've been saying many many times 80% of the time any stock asset class cryptocurrency is going to be going sideways okay the moves happen very very quickly here one two three four five six seven eight so in 10 weeks you got a new high so almost certainly in the next 10 weeks if not well before that you're going to be looking here and you're going to be going a lot a lot, a lot higher so strong proponent of Digibyte here moving forward. This is D Digibyte USD by the way, um, just just to make it clear um, for you guys. So on the monthly chart, yeah, you've got a candle here, that's November, this is December's candle. It's already broken above the high of 0 0.015 um, and it's looking to close above that. We've got many more months in December, so it's, it's definitely going to be closing above this. As you can see, any monthly close above the previous candle, inside bar, inside bar, boom, that's your entry to get in if you're longer term in investors. Okay, um, Even if you were to take this as a, as a 1, a 2, a one two. If you started your one from here, that's a one, that's a two. Um, it doesn't really matter. The long term count doesn't really matter. This is definitely a wave, probably a wave four, probably a wave four on the larger level. Um, if you take this all of this move is a wave three, it's a wave four. So wave five, as we know, is, is it's definitely gonna make a new high. I mean you guys are onto a killing here, so I might even buy some myself to be honest. Um it's on Bitrix, isn't it? Yeah. So um yeah, you, you you guys are good. You guys are good for some money, yeah. So, um, price range. Yeah, so you're going to make at least a 380, 68% gain in the very near future. Now, the only thing I would say is um, it's already moved quite violently. Um, that's definitely you see. Um, it's, it's already moved quite a significant distance okay I suppose there's no harm in getting in um, if you guys are comfortable holding longer term maybe until the new year it'll definitely be a lot higher probably definitely uh, without a doubt it'll be here so I think as a long term hold right now you're looking good you're buying in on the impulse the correction appears to have finished um, this long 161 day correction is now finished and as we know um, effect is proportional to cause the longer it goes sideways the quicker and the more violently it goes up with uh, more ferocity so um, I think it's a very good buy right now um, this is likely a one two one two one two one two going all the way up a lot of volume coming in so and as you can see here it's bounced off the 50 EMA once again and that 50 EMA was very much supportive of the price going all the way up here then it's starting to flatten out resistance up and down up and down up and down now it's bounced through it tried to bounce through here got rejected here got rejected here bounced through on good volume retested low supply candle 
that went through again now it's retesting this and the 50 is starting to curl up so that 50 should once again be supportive of the price moving up so I would I would be a comfortable buyer here of Digibyte you want to put your stop below this price here I can't see it getting below the can't can't see it going below this distance that's 53 percent distance but um, I mean your your gain is your gain is at least as as a minimum at least 383 and to be honest I'm projecting a lot higher here I think I've not done the long-term projections but if you're happy to, if you want me to do that I will projecting I mean probably at least 0.2 0.24 that's just as a as a quick look at the chart but as a bare minimum let's get to here first um, so yeah Digibyte looks good on the daily the weekly the monthly it's all it's all lining up and here on the four hourly once again the 50 EMA is now supporting the price all the way up so it's just making um, let's make this a little bit more accurate so yeah you want to put your stop below here making a one two one two one two one two so these these are all just these are all just loads and loads of one twos um, I can't do the second one too but you get what I mean these these are just I mean threes threes probably gonna be all the way up here somewhere but um, if you just um, draw that again So yeah, the I mean, what I'm trying to show you is just just the one two one two one two patterns. These these are so large degree one two, medium degree one two, another one two here. Uh, you you get the point. So, Digibyte looks as though it's going to go up. Let me quickly because I've recently started to look at um, BTC contracts now as well. I've never looked at them before. Um, So yeah, whoa, 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 what's 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 going on here? Right, let's go on the daily chart here. Yeah, so this is corrected quite heavily. So yeah, so clear clear five wave move up. I mean, this is corrected very very heavily, and as you know, it's well publicized. I'm expecting a market correction in Bitcoin, so that should be supportive of the price. I mean, this is retraced almost 90 98 percent here. So. Um, yeah, uh, looks as though the BTC contract's going to get moving as well. So, um, oops, wrong line. Trend line, trend angle, trend line. Yeah, this this bullish wedge. Um, it wants to break out of this wedge A B C D E. So um, wedges are usually A B. C D E. Um, so yeah, this is this is going to be a violent move up. Um, wedges are usually at least proportional to the distance um, from the top of the wedge. So um, if we just take this price range, let's say your top of your wedge started started around there so that's five five seven let's say it gets to around well let's let let's say it's, it's already gone off so um yeah i'm expecting a movement to at least not point whatever that line is i, I, I don't want to speak in satoshi's satoshi's i don't want to speak in that way okay yeah so this bullish wedge this pennant whatever you want to call it um i'm not a huge proponent of these chart patterns to be honest but um they do help not all the time. I mean, Elliot and volume pretty much tell you everything. So if your wave one started here, that's your one two. You got some support down here. So um, horizontal line down there. Yeah. So. Um, looks as though it's broken through this line and it's likely going to find support at some point very very soon so this appears to be the last movement in this wedge um, this appears to be the last movement in this wedge, that's an ABC one two three four so I reckon maybe another move down I mean we're talking we're talking minor here we're talking minor and um, personally I will just be buying here only because you know the the DGB USD as we know leads the BTC contract um, from my recent research anyway I, I was not aware of that having only analyzed these coins for the last um, 
a couple of months or so, but um, looks as though we might find a bit of support here. Um, so potentially it might make another leg slowly lower, but either way, this is ready to break out on the bullish side. So I would be a buyer of DGB, definitely. Um, whether you're BTC contract or whatever, um, it looks as though it's it's breaking out. And as I said, this this wedge should should go up now in a in a five wave impulsive pattern at, at least to here. So on the BTC contract, your gain is well, it's 596 percent on the USD contract, DGB USD. Yeah, it's already starting to move. So do you see how the dollar the 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 DGP uh, DGB BTC uh, to see how it's getting led by the dollar price yeah so what you can do is you guys should be paying me millions for this millions for this information what you do you go to here compare type in DGB USD so what it does it plots the line um, the line chart of the um, of the dollar so can you guys see that this is the dollar contract. Right, so what you guys can see is um, what's going on here. Mm, is that going to work for me? Is that going to work for me? Maybe it will. Um, yeah, that, that doesn't really work for me. <laughs> So from from my recent research, very very recent, I, I, I've I've begun to conclude that the 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 dollar contract, which is this contract here, appears to give you a heads up, as it were, on the BTC contract. Okay, so as you can see, there is some movement here already in the dollar contract, and that's usually very uh, bullish. So as you can see here, it starts to move here first, moves here first. Okay, it's a lot more clearer on Verge. As well as another few, um, I forget the names of all of these dumb cryptos. But um, I looked at Verge yesterday. I looked at IOTA and IOP, and um, definitely it appears that the USD contract gives you a bit of a heads up. So there is an arbitrage opportunity just in that, um, just selling and buying on one exchange. I mean, I don't want to go into that. That's not something I would recommend myself. But um, it's clear you've got you've got. You've got a good way to almost cheat the market, really. Um, and as you know, there's three ways to make money in this game: uh, be smart, be first, or cheat. Got that from Margin Call. If you guys know that film, highly recommended. Anyway, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's your move on BTC. So whether it's BTC or it's um, or it's uh, uh, USD dollar DGB looks looks very impulsive. So I'm I'm definitely bullish on this. Um, definitely bullish on this. Uh, so what we do, we want to take off this contract here. Take off this line. So do you see how sometimes actually just making the line chart, like taking these stupid fucking candles off, like the candles some sometimes don't give you all the information. Just a simple line graph as what Elliot used to do. I mean it's very clear one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five, done. Or it's a one, two, three, three, four, five, A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five. So some sometimes um just using the line chart, you know, just using the line chart. I mean you don't have to always always have to use candles. So I think Trading View is a phenomenal platform. I mean I was on interactive brokers and uh ninja charting. I used to pay really ridiculous charges at free stock charts.com and I think even the pro service for trading views is worth paying and I'm definitely going to be looking into that myself I think what it offers you is it's a superb platform and very very impressed um, so yeah that's that's my analysis for DGB and as you know I'm a huge fan of the 50 EMA um, you guys could just trade off this if you want um, well this is not really following it but maybe trade off the two hourly um, very very much depends on the market this, these cryptocurrencies yeah, so maybe the four hourly. You're getting some good support here. So do you see how it, it supports the line on the way up and then it supports it on the way down? Obviously there there is a bit of lagging you get with, with moving averages. There is a bit of a lag. But um it looks as though the four hourly is now providing support um for this price uh, moving all the way up. So um 
Yeah, so um, it, it looks bullish, okay? As I say to you guys, um, my analysis doesn't just use Elliott Wave, although it's a big part of it. I like to use this moving average, volume, bit of Fibonacci, and um, also compared to correlated markets. I mean, the other corre the other correlation, I mean, not that you guys would be interested, is um, is gold and um, and the dollar yen. So this is my an analysis on gold, if you guys are interested. Uh, Gold's good buy at this level, but we know this this chart is completely the inverse of the USD JPY. Um, it's completely inverse. So when one goes down, the other goes up. So you know it's it it is what it is. These 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 correlated markets are all over the place. You just got to find them. I'm I'm convinced 100% that there's a correlation within the cryptocurrency market. I've just not been in the game long enough. Had I started doing these videos or getting involved a couple of months ago almost certainly by now I would have found the correlation but because I'm so involved in other markets I only can trade what I see but there is a bit of correlation there so if you guys are into into arbitrage and you know buying on one exchange selling on the other you use the USD as a way to indicate what the price is going to do anyway hope you guys like these 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 videos um, I try my best. The only reason I'm charging some of the time is very precious, but I'll give this one away for for free. I've done some other videos on other other sort of areas. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, let me know. The charges are down below. It's nine pound ninety nine UK pound or forty nine ninety nine dollars. You get more of an in depth sort of analysis. But this is my view on Digibyte. As I said, use the whole platform to your extent. Okay, highly recommend you go through all of these indicators on the side all of these indicators on the top and figure out what works for you and as I said sometimes it's just a simple line chart that gives you all of these waves okay and these, these waves I mean any any little any any kid could easily recognize these waves here from the line chart so you know there are times when you don't even need to use the candlesticks I like to use them um, because I'm used to them but as I said if it makes it easier stick to the line graph anyway hope you guys enjoyed that bullish and DGB Cool it to you guys, have a nice Christmas and make a lot of money.